What is the most statistically improbable thing that has ever happened to you? Story 1 I ran up the rear end of a taxi twice on the same night. The first time I was going clubbing with mates, he'd locked his brakes and I drove straight up the back side. We exchanged details, etc. After the club we were driving back, I thought the cab in front looked familiar. He locked his brakes again. I smashed him again. He gets out and turns white. You? Why? Why? Hey, wow, this reminded me of when I used to drive taxis. It was a Saturday night and I had got a job to pick up a fare at, and I'll never forget it, from XX Serpentine Avenue, Baldwin, to go into town. It's around 8 p.m. when I pick this couple up and take them to a restaurant in the CBD and go off on my merry way taxiing around town. About four hours later, around 12.30 a.m., I've had another 20 plus jobs and driven randomly for about 250 kms all over town and I'm now back in the CBD. I lock my doors and roll down the passenger window a few inches so I can ask folks where they're going because I don't want big fares taking me far away and have to return empty, or have the folks fighting over who got the taxi. And as I'm stopped at an intersection, this woman runs up and asks to go to the other end of town, to a nightclub. I say sure, and let her in, and then I realize she's with a guy. It's the same couple from Serpentine Avenue. He hey trippy. Funny cool. We have a laugh at the coincidence, and I take them to go clubbing and taxi off. At about 4 a.m., I've done another 20 plus jobs and around another 2 to 300 kms all around town, and I find myself in a line of taxis double parked outside a few nightclubs. I'm about 6 in line. People come out of the clubs, and soon I'm first when the back door opens and a couple jump in the back of my cab and say, XX Serpentine Avenue. Well, call me Rosie and fuck me dead. I, we, was, were completely blown away. Once is a fair, twice is a coincidence, three times it's just some fucking trippy weird arse motherfucking woo. Taxi land was pretty trippy in general for me. I've had some amazing times. Girls, drugs, drunk bikies at all. I've had a lot of crazy shit happen to me in my life, but this was about as statistically improbable as it gets, at least for me. Story 2 was working a wine banquet back in college on a nice sunny afternoon in a wide open field with no trees. Pretty much everyone was gone and we were wrapping up after a long day. I yawned and the only bird for miles shit right in my mouth as he flew by, the fucker. That and the brain aneurysm that I had about 1 in 25,000 chance of surviving. But I'm still here, looking for that goddamned bird. I've been saving a bottle of x lax just for him. Call, call, motherfucker. Story 3. The work I used to do required me to carry lots of keys. At the end of my shift every day, I would go and hang up my keys on the cup hook. But as I entered the room, I would toss them over to the board with the hooks, trying to get them to land on the hook. And every day, the keys would miss and fall to the floor. I would retrieve them and hang them and set and do my paperwork. One day, at the end of my shift, I was a bit later than usual and the supervisors were in the room. Again, I tossed my keys and they hooked. All of the supervisors were stunned, but my direct supervisor said, I bet you could never do that again. I grabbed the keys off the hook, walked over to the door, and tossed them again. And again, they landed on the hook. And in the two years of working there, that was the only two times they caught. Story 4 A guy with the same name and the same birth date as me died. I was doing a job at the law firm where his will was held on the day of the reading. They freaked out and asked me to confirm a bunch of details to make sure I hadn't died. Story 5 In the middle of making an omelet, I answered the door while holding a whole egg. It turned out to be my new neighbor asking if she could borrow an egg. The look of confusion on her face when I produced one on the spot was only matched by my own. She took it and left without saying a word. It was super weird. You should have reached behind her ear and pulled the egg out magician style. Story 6 I found a random orange on the street while walking to school. I picked it up and tossed it down a driveway and it landed right up against the car's back tire. When I was walking home, the car backed out of the driveway and as it drove over the orange, it sprayed all over me. Story 7 I threw an orange at this bully's bike as he rode away and it bounced once, so perfectly, that it dislodged his chain and the bike abruptly stopped and he was thrown off. He stood up a bloody, crying mess, but oh boy, 
I was the hero. Added to everyone saying I was the bully, there was some backstory to this. I was over at my friend's house when this kid, Paul, comes over as well. Now, Paul is a bully, so we're just hanging out in my friend's backyard when Paul runs around back and starts basically insulting us. My friend went to get his ma, and that scared Paul. I was not so decent as to be patient, so the above transpired. And it wasn't orange, because Florida. Story 8 I won a Frosted Flake sweepstake competition about 10 years ago. I was a kid and my mom filled out the form that was on the back of the box and sent it in, and I ended up winning all expenses paid trip to California, a PlayStation 2, and a shitload of money amongst other things. I always had thought sweepstakes were a scam and companies never follow through, but it turns out there actually are winners. Story 9 I was teaching ESL in Korea and we went out one night to a local bar that had a monthly open mic night where a lot of us foreigners would gather. I got chatting with a random white guy at the bar and asked where he was from. He said, Ottawa. I was like, no way. I used to live in Ottawa. Whereabouts in Ottawa did you live? He answered, Sandy Hill. I once again said, no way. <laughs> I had a car stolen that was found there. His face goes slack. Was it an 88 to 91 Honda Civic? Yes. Yeah, I think that was me. Um, <laughs> let me get your drinks for the night. Story 10. When I was at university, I would quite often get a taxi ride after a night out from a nice old man nicknamed Grandpa. He had Grandpa on his taxi license and had a business cards with Grandpa on them, etc. He would always give you cheap rides and come whenever you called. Anyway, four years or so passed without me getting a ride from him. I had heard rumors that he had died, which was quite saddening. About a month or so ago, a couple of mates and I were waiting to get picked up by a taxi when I decided to tell them the story of Grandpa. So eventually I finished my story and our taxi arrived, with none other than Grandpa at the will. Story 11 Once walking out of a grocery store, me and my buddy did that pew 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 gun thing with our hands and said something pretty stoned to some guy who was about to step into the parking lot. Then he stopped for half a second to glare at us. In that half second, some douchefuck driver sped by and would have smashed the guy. We all did a double take and went our ways. Story 12 I drove to the park to go running, using my cell phone as a GPS. When I was done, I put my phone on the top of my car and spent a few minutes stretching. Then I got in my car and drove home. On the way home, driving about 35 with the window down, I took a turn and the cell phone slid off the roof of the car and into my open window, bouncing off my arm and landing in my lap. I never told anyone because... I didn't think they'd believe me.